couple of days ago, I got up and as most of us do, I reached over to the cabinet beside my bed, picked up my smartphone and fired up Facebook to scroll through my news feed and see what was going on with the world. When I opened the app, there was a warning from Facebook saying that due to some legal changes here in Australia, they were removing news from the Facebook app and from the whole Facebook website in Australia. Now, I did kind of know this was coming. There's been a lot of talk about it, uh, also with Google, and I also knew that Google had just agreed to pay some of the large news organizations here in Australia to use their news material on their search engine, and in particular on their newsstand app in the Google News app. But I didn't think much of it. So I scrolled through my timeline, and sure enough, Facebook had completely removed all of the news from the feed. So all the newspapers, news organizations here in Australia that I follow, uh, whether they were national or international, had been completely expunged from their platform. And then a thought occurred to me. I wondered whether my page had been affected by these changes. So I fired up my Facebook page and sure enough, it had been Lock. So obviously, I was a little bit surprised by this. I'm not a news organization, I never have been. I use my page to promote my photography, so I upload photographs and movies to it, and I share uh, blogs about photography that I've written on my website. I'm not the ABC, I'm not the Guardian, I am not uh, the Sydney Morning Herald, I'm not a news organisation, I'm just a photographer who uses Facebook to share his photos. And obviously I thought it was extremely unfair that I had been caught up in this crossfire between the Australian government and Mark Zuckerberg's Facebook. And it turned out that a lot of other pages have been caught up in this big mess too. Uh, people like Surf Life Saving Australia, a non-profit organisation, the Bureau of Meteorology here, they were all blocked too. The difference is, of course, that they've had their pages reinstated by Facebook and mine is still missing in action because I'm a tiny, tiny, insignificant little entity uh, in the Facebook frame and I just don't matter to them. So some people have had their pages reinstated and the word is that mine will be reinstated at some point too. I'm not losing a huge amount of sleep over it because I figure they'll work things out in the end and realize that actually I'm not a news page, I'm just a photographer uploading my photographs. However, this reinforced something that I've been saying for a long time, which is that we photographers need to take control of our own brand. Now, I made my Facebook page about 10 years ago and I did it simply because I was uploading a lot of photographs and I didn't want to continually piss off my friends and family by constantly uploading photos. So I just made my page and I used that as a place to store them and people could go and look at them if they had an interest in them. And my little Facebook page started picking up quite a few likes thanks to shares by organizations like uh, Tourism Australia and Visit New South Wales and the local tourist agencies here. And so as I picked up followers, I found that I could also interest people in buying prints of my photographs. Uh, and so it became quite useful in that regard as a promotional tool, enabling me to sell my work. And for a couple of years, it was great. I was getting a serious number of likes and comments on my photographs and everything was peachy. Then in about 2012, Facebook introduced the Boost. Uh, and to go along with the Boost, they also butchered everybody's engagement and reach on their platform. So overnight, my posts that I shared that would previously be seen by thousands of people went down to hundreds and eventually to tens. And Facebook said that the only way I could speak to the people that I had painstakingly attracted to my page to view my photography was if I ponied up and paid for the honor. And I took exception to this bait and switch tactic 
by Facebook and Mr. Zuckerberg, and I never did use the uh, boost function, apart from a couple of occasions where I was selling my calendar, and I just wanted to get it in front of as many people as possible. I never used it on any of my ordinary posts. Further to this, I stopped uploading directly to Facebook itself. Previously, if I had a photo to share, I would drag and drop it into the post window and share it directly on there. And what I did instead was start uploading all of my photographs to my website, and then I would share a link to my website on my Facebook page. I was, of course, warned by friends and photographers and people in the web business that doing this sharing content from my site on Facebook rather than uploading directly would further hamper my engagement on the platform and greatly restrict the reach of the content I was sharing. But I did not mind because I wanted to be in control of things, not Zuckerberg. And my misgivings about placing all of your eggs in one basket and focusing on third party services such as Instagram or Facebook were completely borne out a couple of days ago when somebody got up at Facebook, pressed a, a big red button and nuked my little Facebook page. And so while I find it very annoying, primarily because I'm not a news organization, it's not really gonna hurt me in the grand scheme of things because I have been focusing on my own brand, on my own website. It's the focus of everything I do. The Australian news ban has demonstrated just how capricious these tech giants can be. And it's also indicated brutally just how utterly insignificant we all are in the grand scheme of things. Third party services like Facebook take control away from you and they give them to some arbitrary organization who decide what's important, what they're gonna put in front of people's eyes, and they govern every aspect of how you present that to the public. So I encourage all photographers, content creators, influencers, whatever you wanna call yourself, to make your own website and to make that the primary focus of everything that you do. I am not saying you should not upload to Facebook or Instagram. They're extremely useful tools and photographs and videos can go viral and drive a huge amount of traffic in your direction. But you need a way of directing those viral posts to something that benefits you. And when I say a website, I do not mean something like Squarespace or Wix because they're third party services too. And Squarespace or Wix could go bust overnight and leave you high and dry, just like if Facebook pulled the plug on your Facebook page. It makes no difference. You need to have a proper website of your own which you have full and complete control over. Server space is cheap and there are plenty of brilliant hosting platforms who will set you up with a simple account which you control through a thing called a cPanel and you can set up your web space using a free service such as WordPress uh, and create exactly the sort of website you want which works exactly the way you like which gives prominence to the things you want to give prominence to and over which you have full and complete control over and which some third party uh, Silicon Valley dude can't suddenly decide to remove on a whim because he's not getting his way with the government of your country. So as I said, it's a bit depressing that Facebook have decided to block my page. I hope it comes back, but I'm not going to be losing too much sleep over it. If they don't, it's irritating, but I can't say it's a huge shock to me. I think the writing's been on the wall for some time, and I suspect that the situation with organizations such as Google and Facebook is only going to get worse over the years. So please, do yourself a favor, investigate, create your own website if you haven't already. If you haven't in the past and you kind of forgot about it because everything was happening for you on YouTube or on Instagram or Facebook, then reinvest some time in it. Spend a bit of time sprucing it up upload your content, make it look nice and functional and quick, and you will reap the benefits down the line, I promise you.